Hello, my name is Gail with Portland Parks and Recreation's Fitness Program. Today we will be doing super fit cardio and strength with dumbbells. You will need one or two set of dumbbells, a light weight, probably five pounds or less, and then something slightly heavier. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use water bottles, or you can just go through the motions without any weight at all. Be sure to be safe, modify exercises as needed, and make sure that you have plenty of space and proper equipment. Grab your water and let's get started. Hi everyone, we're gonna go ahead and get started. This will be a 30 minute cardio and strength class. We're gonna start out with a brief warm up. Our first set will be a cardio interval set, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. After that, we'll grab our dumbbells for a upper body strength set. After that, we'll do another uh, interval cardio set. And then we'll go to the floor for a little bit of work and stretching. Let's get started. March in place. Arms up, up, and down one more time. Up and down, tap and reach. Leg out to the side arm across the body, eight more, four more, and then we're gonna go into a hamstring curl, hamstring curl, bending your leg behind your body, bending at the knee, eight more, four, three, opposite elbow, knee, Knee up, abs in, exhale. Eight more. And four, three, same elbow knee, knee to the side. Four more, four, three, tap back, arms forward. Same legs, reach up. Four, three, same legs, arms back. And four more. Squat. Four, three, two, side step. Two steps, each direction. One, two, one, two. And tap your leg out to the side, arms up. And four, three, two and one. Great, that's our warm up. We're gonna get ready for our first set. This is gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, four exercises, two times through. We're gonna start with your choice of what I call jump lifts, jumping jacks, or if you're ready for more, jumping jacks. First move of four, 20 seconds, ready, and here we go. So you're either here with the low impact version or you're here. Work at your own pace, work at your own level. Five more seconds. Rest 10 seconds. Next, we're going into a hamstring curl with a shoulder press arm. Ready, go. 20 seconds. Five more seconds. And rest. Next move. 
We're gonna hold a squat. Tap your leg out to the side, starting in three. Here we go. Shoulders down, shoulders back. Strong core. 10 more seconds. Five seconds. And rest, 10 seconds rest. Next up, option one, tap your toes back, arms up. This is option two. Ready? Here we go. This is option one, option two. After this, we're going back to the top. One more time through. Rest. We're going into jumping jacks or jump with jumping jacks, starting in three. Ready, go. Halfway through the set. Two minutes down. Two to go. Remember, this is your other option, a little bit lower impact. Five more seconds. Coming up, we have that hamstring curl with a shoulder press. Rest, hamstring curl, shoulder press, coming up in three. Here we go. Round six of eight. Two more rounds after this. Five seconds to go. And rest. Next up, we're in that squat. Now we're tapping that other toe out to the side. Ready? Here we go. 20 seconds. Shoulders down, shoulders back. Tighten up the core. 10 more seconds. One more move coming up after this to finish the set. And rest. We'll be going to that tap back arms up or the standing mountain climber. Ready, here we go. Five seconds. And rest. All right, so now we're getting ready for our next set, which is gonna be upper body strength. We're gonna do some bicep curls, some tricep extensions, some V raises. For the V raises, you might wanna use five pounds or lighter, and then for the bicep or tricep, possibly a little bit heavier, depending on what weights you have. So we're gonna start with bicep curls. Standing in a weightlifting stance, feet about hip width apart, shoulders down, shoulders back. Engage the muscles in your core, and here we go. We're gonna just go for time, so you can go at your own pace. 40 seconds. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Slowly lowering those weights. Try not to let those weights drop toward the ground. We have 10 more seconds. Our next exercise, then we're gonna go into a hip hinge, tricep extension. Okay, so go ahead and rest for our tricep. Shoulders down, shoulders back. You're gonna stick your bottom back and press. So we're bending at the hip, bending at the knee, keeping your core strong. Exhale back. Inhale forward. And 20 more seconds. Five more seconds. 
Okay, come on up. Now I'm gonna switch to my lighter weights for some shoulder B raises. And here we go. So we're only lifting to about shoulder height. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. This is called a V raise, so my arms are in a V shape, right? So it's not a front raise, not a side raise, but in between a front raise and a side raise. Let's go for 10 more seconds. Okay, we're gonna put those weights down. When you put your weights down, put them out of your way. We're gonna do a little bit of cardio, so make sure they're not anywhere you would accidentally step on. Here we go. Side step. Just a little bit of cardio, and then we're gonna go through and do that upper body set one more time. 15 more seconds. Ten more seconds, and we're gonna grab those bicep curl weights. One more round of bicep. One more round of tricep. One more round of shoulder. Rest. Okay, grabbing your bicep curl weights. Shoulders down, shoulders back, feet about hip width apart. Ready, and here we go, 40 second again. Bicep curl. Control the lowering of the weight. Try not to let those weights fall toward the ground. Give that a little bit of resistance. Grounding your feet, grounding your tailbone. Five more seconds. All right, we're going into that tricep. Press your shoulders down and back. Come into your hip hinge with, hip hinge with a slight knee bend and press. Keep your head in line with your spine, which means don't drop your head down, don't crank your neck back. Exhale when you push back, inhale forward. Don't forget about your core. 10 more seconds. After this, we'll be switching out those weights to a lighter weight. All right, come on up. Set those weights out of the way. Grab your lighter weights. Shoulder work. Feet about hip width apart. V raise. 40 seconds. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Remember, we're not raising to the front, not raising to the side. Palms are facing in. 10 more seconds. Five seconds, finishing the set. And rest. Go ahead and set those weights down out of your way. Grab a sip of water. And we'll get ready for our next set. So we're going into our second interval set. Four minute set, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Four moves, two times through. We're gonna start with a repeater knee with the right foot forward, arms up. That right foot will stay planted. Left knee up and taps back. 20 seconds, ready, here we go.
Five more seconds, coming up. Plie squat. Rest. Feet are wide, toes are out. Down and up, coming up. Starting in three seconds. Ready, here we go. Make sure your knees point in the same direction as your toes. Inner thigh work here. Five more seconds. Coming up, elbow knee opposite. 10 seconds rest. This is what's coming up next. And go. Every time your knee comes up, exhale. Coming up, hamstring curl. 10 seconds rest. So we're going into a hamstring curl, scissor arms. In three, here we go. This is round four. After this, back to the top. One more round coming up. Ten seconds rest. Left foot forward, right foot back. That left foot stays planted. Right knee comes up. Here we go. Round five of eight. We're more than halfway through. Five more seconds. And rest. Plie, feet wide, toes out about 45 degrees. Go. So you want the knees pointing the same direction as your toes. Inhale down, exhale up. Five more seconds. And rest. Elbow knee opposite coming up. Starting in three. Go. Every time the knee comes up, exhale. One more move. Coming up after this. Five more seconds. Rest, scissor arms, hamstring curl, starting in three, here we go. Finishing the set. Five more seconds. and rest. All right, let's grab another sip of water. Keep moving around a little bit, either march in place or step side to side. We're gonna do one more thing before we go down to the floor. A little bit of balance work, so I call this standing on a tightrope. Place one heel in front of the other toe. Really tighten up your core. We're gonna stand like this for 20 seconds. Starting now. So just working on balance. Hug your inner thighs together. That'll help you stabilize. Tighten up your core. That'll help as well. Five more seconds. Okay, rest. We'll put the other heel in front. Ready? Here we go. 20 seconds. Inner legs hug in, core hugs in. Five more seconds. 
and rest. Okay, we're gonna transition down to the floor. We have a little bit of strength work and then we'll go into stretching. And all you're gonna need is your mat. on all fours, hands and knees. Extend your right leg out behind you. Lift and lower, up and down. Keep your core strong, head in line with your spine. And four more, four, three, two, and one. Set that leg down. Extend your other leg behind you. Tighten up your core. Here we go. Up and down. Eight more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay, we're gonna do a bird dog and hold that for 20 seconds each side. So we're gonna extend our right leg back, lift that right leg up, extend your left arm forward. 20 seconds, starting now. Working on balance, core, tricep, hip strength. Five more seconds. Okay, lower your hand, lower your leg. Let's extend the left leg back. Ready, and here we go. Left leg, right arm. 20 seconds. Ten more seconds. and rest. Let's come back and do a little child's pose, very brief. Take a couple breaths here. We're gonna do a little bit of back strengthening work. Coming all the way down, this is locust pose. Arms at your sides, you're gonna press your tailbone down toward the floor and lift your chest. 30 seconds, starting now. So you really want to press your tailbone down toward the floor, press your sits bones down toward the floor as you're lifting the chest and holding. Shoulders are down away from the ears and back. 10 more seconds. I'm gonna come down, you can cross one arm on the other, rest your forehead, take a couple of breaths. Okay, we're gonna do some side leg lifts. Come on to one side, come all the way down, support your head and your hand, lay in a straight line. Tighten up your core. Lift and lower that leg. Let's do four more. Four, three, two, and one. Turn over to your other side. Supporting your head and your hand. Tighten up your core, lift and lower. Eight more. Four, three, Two and one. We're gonna come onto our back for a 
30 second bridge hold. Working on our glutes. Feet are flat, press your low back into the mat. Lift your hips, 30 second hold. Think of extending your knees out in the direction of your heels. Think of your tailbone lengthening out between your knees. Ten more seconds. And lower down. Nice job. So we're going to move into stretching. We have about four to five minutes of stretching. So let's bring the right knee to your chest. Hands behind that thigh. Straighten the leg. Finding that stretch in the back of the leg. Bend that knee. Switch sides, left leg up. Finding that stretch in the back of the leg, hamstring stretch. Let's come into a bound angle pose with the bottoms of the feet together, knees out to the side, hands behind your head, stretching the pectoral muscles and the inner thigh muscles. Take a couple nice long breaths. Bring your knees together. Let's roll to your side and come into a child's pose. Setting your hips back toward your heels, reach your fingertips forward, breathe into your back as if you had a balloon in your back and you're filling that balloon up and fully exhaling. All right, we're gonna come all of the way up. We'll stretch our hip flexors. One foot forward, one foot back. Tuck your tail down toward the ground, lift your arms up. Release and switch sides. And release. Both arms up, extend one arm out to the side, reach up with your other arm and then over toward the side. Keep your core strong, tailbone lengthening down. And then come on up and reaching over toward the other side. Stretching those muscles along the side of the body and come back up. Interlace your hands in front of you, turn your palms away from you and lift up. Getting nice and tall. And we'll finish with two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. So that's class today. Hopefully you feel like you got a good cardio and upper body workout. Thank you for joining me today. This class will be added to Portland Parks and Recreations stay and play video series available free on YouTube. Make sure to press the like button and comment with any feedback or questions. You can also find more videos at portland.gov slash parks slash stay and play. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.